both know you're going to procrastinate by watching this video. So let's make it worth your time. What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, I'm Coach Simona. I upload weekly videos on how to simplify your life and become the person you aspire to be. So if you're interested in personal development, hit the big subscribe button below and the bell next to it to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's jump right into the video. Alright guys, you've probably read a lot of articles on procrastination and watched a few videos, but you still find yourself procrastinating. I can't guarantee that this video will stop you from procrastinating any further, but it will definitely give you some fresh concepts to explore. Now, before we get into my three-step formula for resolving procrastination, I want you to take a closer look at the 15 possible reasons for procrastinating. Let's find out why you are procrastinating. We all know that procrastination is the act of unnecessarily postponing decisions or actions, but we all have different reasons for procrastinating in the first place. Here are some of the most common ones. Number one, perfectionism. This is a very popular one and it's probably the one I struggled with the most. When you're a perfectionist, you dread every single task because you're aware of how much time and energy it's going to cost you to finish it. If you think that is the reason for procrastinating for you, pause this video and go watch my video on how to deal with perfectionism. I will leave a link in the description box below. Now, let's get into the second possible reason for procrastinating. Short-term gratification versus long-term gratification. When we procrastinate, it's often because of that sweet rush of dopamine that we are so used to nowadays. Every time we need that dopamine shot, we just go to Instagram and post a picture or binge watch a show on Netflix. Short-term gratification is all about receiving pleasure as fast as possible without really thinking about the consequences in the long run. While long-term gratification is about enduring the things that may not be as pleasant at the moment, but knowing that they will lead to great results and lasting fulfillment in the end. For example, when we procrastinate, we prefer pleasure over pain and think about our short-term gratification. Now, what is the third possible reason for procrastinating? 3. Fear of failure We all want to succeed. And procrastination buys us time before we have to face the consequences of our actions. But the irony is that the more we procrastinate, the more we increase our chances of failing. But what is failure anyway? It is just a perceived concept of not living up to our expectations of ourselves. So if you lower your expectations and realize that life is full of mistakes and we are all trying to learn from them, you will cut yourself some slack and ease up a little bit. Now let's get into possible reason number four. Fear of success. Now that's an interesting one. You may think that fear of failure and fear of success are the same thing, but they're not. Fear of success is all about being terrified of everything that success stands for. For example, if you believe that successful people are bad or greedy, or that you will become a sellout once you become successful, then you may have fear of success. I've already dedicated a whole episode on the Simplify Your Life podcast, so if you want to learn more, check out episode 60. I will leave a link in the description box below. Now let's get into reason number 5. Fear of negative feedback This is a bit similar to fear of failure, but it needs to be discussed separately. When you're too afraid of negative feedback, it's a sign that you're too invested in presenting yourself in a certain way. That means that you need to loosen up your self-image a little bit and stop caring so much about what other people think of you. Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? If you think that is your reason for procrastinating, check out my video on how to stop people pleasing. Receiving negative feedback is a normal part of life. So if you're struggling with it and you want to feel liked and approved of everybody, that is a sign that you need to work on your people-pleasing tendencies first. Now let's get into reason number six. Lack of energy. Sometimes you may be looking for deeper root causes for something when the answer is right in front of us. When we lack energy, it's impossible to push through with our tasks. The important thing is to be aware of your low energy and not beat yourself up for it because it's just a waste of time. Now let's get into possible reason number seven. Feeling overwhelmed. One of the main reasons we procrastinate is because we have too many things on our plates. 
When you feel stressed out, procrastination is your body's way of shutting down for a while. All it wants is to protect you from the anxiety that you're feeling. So if you think that is your reason for procrastinating, check out episode 66 from the Simplify Your Life podcast, where I will give you my best tips on how to stop feeling overwhelmed. Now, what is possible reason number eight? Mental exhaustion. Lack of energy means you're physically tired. But what about mental exhaustion? It happens more often than you think. When you've overworked yourself, it's extremely difficult to summon the strength to continue working. It's important to remember that we are not robots. At least not yet. Number 9. Task aversion. Task aversion means avoiding a task because it seems boring, unappealing and you simply don't want to do it. We've all had chores that we would rather delegate to someone else, but there was no one else to delegate it to. For example, you may be avoiding washing the dishes or learning a new skill to run your business more smoothly. We've all been there. The important thing is to realize that that is your reason for procrastinating. Now, what is possible reason number 10? Lack of motivation. Lack of energy is way more different than lack of motivation. When you lack motivation, you may have forgotten your why. The reason why you're doing what you're doing, your purpose, your end goal. And it's extremely difficult to continue working towards something when you don't know what that is. If you think that is your reason for procrastinating, check out this video next. I will leave a link below. Now let's get into possible reason number 11. Self-sabotaging behavior. Procrastination is a bulletproof way to sabotage yourself, even if that means arriving late for an important meeting. The habit of self-sabotaging is directly linked to low self-esteem. If we don't believe that we are capable or deserving of better things in life, we will find creative ways to screw them up. And procrastination is just one of them. Now let's get into possible reason number 12. Getting easily distracted. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, also known as ADHD, is not a made-up word and many people are suffering from it. Although we often say, blame it on my ADD baby, The truth is that the internet may have convinced you that you have a mental disorder that you don't really have. Your problem may just be that you're easily distracted and procrastination happens as a result of that. You know what to do, you're about to go do it and something shinier and prettier simply comes along. We've all been there. Or is it just me? Anyway, now let's get into possible reason number 13. Rebellion against an authority figure. If you had an authority parent or caregiver, you may have developed a habit of rebelling against authority. In this case, the authority figure may be your boss or simply yourself. If you work for yourself, guess who's your boss? Yep, it's a tough relationship, all right? Reason number 14. Lack of perseverance. Having perseverance is all about being consistent in doing something, despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. The truth is, it's hard to maintain focused when you have so many obstacles along the way. But as Ryan Holiday says in his book, the obstacle is the way. If you want to succeed in life, you need to be persistent and never give up. Now let's get into the final possible reason for procrastinating. Laziness. I saved the best one for last. And let me tell you the truth. It's extremely easy to fall into the trap of procrastinating when you are at home. As an entrepreneur, This was the hardest one that I had to work on. But the truth is that laziness is robbing you of your one and only chance to create something while you're still here. And I have found the antidote to laziness is actually remembering that you're going to die. Let that sink in. All right, now that we've explored the 15 possible reasons for procrastination, let's get into the solution. I've read it all, washed it all, and done it all but I decided to do something that really worked for me and I hope it helps you as well. The reason I spend so much time explaining the possible causes for procrastinating is because I actually believe that by fixing the root cause, you will stop procrastinating. So here's how you do that. Let's try my three-step formula. Slow down, acknowledge your feelings and take action. If you're procrastinating, that means that you have resistance towards doing something. And to let go of that resistance, you need to slow down first. Turn off all of your devices, focus in words, take a few deep breaths and let go of your resistance. Now, if any feelings come up, acknowledge them. 
Notice that I'm not necessarily saying that you should express them, but it's important to be honest about what's going on. If you're anxious, acknowledge that you are, but also know that this won't stop you to move on to the next step, which is taking action. Once you're calmer and aware of your feelings, you can move into action. Now, let's break taking action into even smaller steps. If you have an overwhelming task at hand, break it down into smaller chunks. For example, if your big goal is to write a book and you feel overwhelmed by it, just write down a hundred words per day. Next, use the five second rule. The moment you feel that resistance coming up, just count down from five and do it. Once you start it, you've already beaten procrastination. Even if you get distracted, your identity will change in time. You will start to believe that you're a person who is capable of doing things without postponing them in the future. And that is the solution I've been talking about all along. It all starts and ends with your identity. If you refer to yourself as a procrastinator, your mind will do its best to protect that identity and keep you stuck. If you do small steps towards setting goals and achieving them, you will slowly shift your identity from a slacker to a doer. All of you will find different useful bits from this video. But here is the biggest takeaway that I want you to remember. Procrastination is a defense mechanism. Find out what you're defending against and you will no longer have the need to procrastinate. Like I said, finding the root cause is the solution. You won't need any techniques if you know why you're procrastinating in the first place. Now I want to hear from you. Why do you procrastinate? Did you find your root cause? Comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because in the next video we're going to talk about how to be more productive and I will give you my best tips on how to work less and achieve more at the same time. In the meantime, while you wait for this video, I post a lot of content on personal development, so make sure to check out these two videos as well. I love you guys and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!